Hey, this is Reg Kelly, Table in the Wilderness. And uh, I want to bring you a clip today on uh, these, some of these guys right here. A clip about a lesson for the lefties. But actually, it's a lesson for all of us. Who is the uh, biggest murderers in history? Who are the biggest murderers in history? Well, I want to bring some guys in the fact of it here. We're going to talk about, first of all, let's ask this question right here. Uh, what person caused the death of the most people in modern history? We're going to be looking at that in just a little bit. But the second question is, are most wars caused by religion? Are most wars caused by religion, yes or no? What are our kids being taught in school, high schools, junior high, colleges, university? What are they being taught? Well, let's go right down here. This guy right here, of course, most of you know him. He's Adolf Hitler, wicked, vile serpent of a person, responsible for the deaths of at least six million Jews and other folks in that time period, World War II. But World War II also, if you take the whole thing in, probably 40 million people. And he did start it up, and he was the one who pushed the, the world into World War, Adolf Hitler. Now, it's interesting that the lefties really hate this guy, and they use him all the time. In fact, Donald Trump has been called Hitler. And many times they'll say conservatives or Hitler, and they'll, and they'll use racism and all kinds of stuff with Hitler, Hitler, Hitler. And the left and the socialists, like Bernie Sanders and all the lefty bunch and uh, the college you know, crew, crew, they hate Hitler, and rightly so. I'm with you on that. Hitler's a mess. He killed a lot of people. He's a vile, wicked serpent. Bad. But here's another guy that killed a lot of people, but they don't think he's quite so bad. His name is Karl Marx. But it's odd that Hitler is condemned in our colleges and universities, but Marx is exalted and admired and, and respected among our universities in America. Why? Well, let me say this to you first of all, that Marx has killed way more people than Hitler ever dreamed about killing. The Marx, you ever looked, ever seen this guy, heard this guy right here? Ma Zedong, China? Uh, what about these, uh, these, these boys right here? What about these boys right here? You ever, you ever heard of these guys? Lenin, Stalin, Trotsky, all them guys from Russia? Well, let's look at some figures, just how many they killed. I looked this up. In uh, the Soviet Union, under Lenin and Stalin, killed, uh, over probably, but at least 61 million people. Now that was through starvation, deprivation, and outright murder. But either way you look at it, they were killing those people. Uh, Communist China, Mao Zedong, little, the little fellow right here, he has estimated it's up to 77 million. Now remember, all of World War II, if you blame Hitler for all of the murders of World War II, including the 6 million Jews and so forth, you're looking probably at 40-some million. But Stalin and communism alone killed up to 66 million. That's just in Russia. And in China, 77 million. So there you have 137 million. And that does not count the numerous other countries, Korea, uh, Cambodia, Thailand, all that. And the countries where communism, socialism was tried and communism was uh, implemented. Just in, uh, under the Pol Pot uh, regime was 2.2 million. So what you have is nearly over 100 more people were killed by, by uh, Marx. Now, I want to tell you about these two guys. Hitler wrote a book, Mein Kampf, or My Struggle. And his, I, he never took the gun out himself and, and started shooting everybody and machine gunning everybody down. It was his beliefs and his ideals and the implementation of them that caused all those people to get killed. This man right here, Karl Marx, wrote a book called uh, 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 Das Kapitel and the Communist Manif Manifesto. And his books have caused over 100 million more people to be killed than this guy right here. Now let me tell you about Bernie Sanders and all the socialist people in America. They love this guy here. Oh, they hate Hitler, but they love this guy here. But who's the biggest murderer? And so I'm telling you folks right now, we better wake up in this country. You are seeing socialism being accepted, and now even almost a majority of, of college and university people thinking socialism is all right, we ought to try it. And socialist candidates running and winning elections. Let me tell you something. Marx himself said that socialism was the fire that communism has to go through to get where it needs to go. And both Mao Zedong and Karl Marx said that the middle class, landowners, business owners must be eliminated 
and made impossible. Now that's almost a quote. You can check that out for yourself. So I want to say to you this, that as bad as Hitler is and was, he is not the greatest murderer in our lifetime in modern history. Karl Marx is. And Marx is being embraced by Americans now. These are the, these are the people that, <clears throat> that we have stood against and fought against that have instituted uh, regimes across the country. And now it's coming into America. I am saying, wake up, everybody. Stand against it. Check out what your kids are being taught at your school. Find out if Marx is being presented in a positive realm. In the movie or in the documentary Civil War that Ken Burns wrote, that put together, Ken Burns calls Das Kapitel, written by Karl Marx, a masterpiece. You know what that tells me? Ken's Bur Ken Burns is a socialist, and his whole ideology is to move America toward socialism and toward communism. Now, let's look at a couple of things. Do most are most wars caused by religion? If you listen to most of your liberals and progressives in the educational centers, oh, they'd say yes. But the truth about it is, did you know that Karl Marx is an atheist? And it's atheism? It's atheism that has caused more wars and more people to get killed. Karl Marx was an atheist. That's a tenet of communism. <clears throat> Bernie Sanders is a socialist atheist. And I'm telling you what he's pushing will cause mass murders in this country. If he gets his way, they will eliminate all the, the constitutional loving, freedom loving American people. They'll have to get rid of you. Karl Marx, atheism has killed and started way more wars than any, than any religion ever dreamed about. So now, why are students taught that Hitler is evil but Marx is exalted? It's because our universities and colleges and even some of our high schools are embedded with socialistic thinking people who come out of the universities and believe in this utopia idea, but they base their whole deals on jealousy. Marx was a lazy hound dog. He would not work. Engels, who wrote with him, was a lazy hound dog. Study their history. Find out about them. They're nothing but they remind me of college snowflakes today. College snowflakes sitting around doing nothing but and marching in the streets and protesting and a lot of American young people. They're just like Karl Marx and Engels. They're doing nothing but protesting and they're jealous of anybody who makes anything. And so the way they figure out to get what they work for is to tax them to death and take over the government. And that's why while you're out trying to make a living, you got these socialists in our country, in our college unit, coming out and they want to take over and become part of the deep state, part of the uh, establishment in that, in that political establishment, governmental establishment, and take away your freedoms in unelected positions. This is what the FBI right now is doing with Mueller. This is what the Department of Justice has done in this Russia case and all so forth. They're deep state people, socialists, who, uh, who, dis who d despise a capitalist, free enterprise person, which Trump is. Now, let's go down to one thing more. I'm going to shock you and surprise you, number four, who has killed the most people? Well, Marx has killed more than, than uh, Hitler. That's a fact. That's not my idea, my opinion. That's a historical fact. Let me tell you who's killed more people than Marx and Hitler put together. And that's the abortionist crowd. Right now, as a two, actually this is a 2013. Worldwide, and we're talking about world wars, and we're talking about worldwide communist regimes, there's been a billion... That's with a B, billion point seven two babies that have been slaughtered in the wombs of their mothers. Now, I'm going to give you somebody that's killed more than that. And listen to me tight. His name is Satan. We've moved all the way down here to number five, the question mark. The Bible said in John 8, 44, that Satan is a murderer. He was a murderer from the beginning. And Satan is the one who's behind all of these murders and the murderers. Let me tell you something today. Abortion is murder. Monday night, Gosnell is going to be shown at the Mountain Grove Theater. I hope you'll be there. I hope you'll see that movie. Abortion has killed more people than communism, Hitlerism, Nazism, and the whole nine yards. Mousy tongue and the whole deal. But behind abortion is Satan, and he's a murderer. Now you listen to me tight, and I'm going to quit. And before I stop and say this, let me just say this to you. I have a clip coming up after this clip that is going to show you the seedbed 
of the abortion movement. I'm going to take you back to 1968, 1973, and I'm going to show you who was behind the Roe versus Wade case that went and caused the slaughter and the murder, the largest entity of murder in the world, abortion. I'm going to show you the people in America, and there is a very received and well-known group of people in America now who were behind Roe versus Wade and the slaughter of a billion point seven two babies in the womb. That'll be my next clip. And you won't want to miss this. I will show you definitive documented history. <clears throat> but let me say this the last thing. Death and murder is more than physical. There is a spiritual and physical murder. And the greatest murder that can happen to you is to die lost without Jesus Christ. Satan wants to murder you. Death means to be separated. It, the word it literally means separated from God. And if you die lost without Jesus Christ as your Savior, the only way there is to heaven, the only way there is to be reconciled to God, Satan will have murdered you for eternity. He is a murderer. He's out to murder you spiritually to cause you to die lost without Jesus Christ, to die in your sins and to die and go to hell. And he's also a murderer of your marriage, your family, your home, your joy, your peace, of love. He's a murderer of freedom. He's a murderer of righteousness. And we need to understand where this comes from. And that's why you need to be, a, if you love America and you love freedom and you want to stand for what's right, get involved, get saved and get involved in the battle against Satan and try to reach people for Jesus Christ because God changes from the heart. When a man gets saved, he no longer wants to see people murdered. He wants to see people saved. And I want to encourage you, <clears throat> are you saved? Or are you going to die lost? Are you going to let Satan murder you and send you to hell forever and separate you from God eternally? I pray that that will not be the case. I pray that you'll think about what I'm saying today. These things are true. I'm not talking off the side of my head. I'm not doing this for your money. Don't send me your money. I'm not interested in your money. I'm interested in the truth and I'm interested in your soul. Who's the biggest murderer? Well, Marx is a bigger one than Hitler. And the socialists want his ways in this country. But worse than even Marx and Hitler is the abortionist crowd in this country. And I'm going to do this next clip and you get it. But beyond, behind all of that, behind the board, is a person called Satan, the devil. And he is a murderer. God tells you that. I pray that you'll not let him take you to hell. I pray that you'll help him not to murder your soul. This is Reg Kelly, Table in the Wilderness. I love you. Share this post. Send it around. Let's reach the lost for Christ and let's turn our nation around. Until next time, so long.